Hello, I found myself in a situation that I need to start with ASP.NET Core for the first time. I have no experience with it. And um, I need to prepare Visual Studio 2015 that I can work with ASP.NET Core. The problem at the moment is I have Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise Edition and when you go to File, New, Project, Web at this point I don't have the ASP.NET Core template available. Um, I guess the reason is that ASP.NET Core came out in 2016 so in Visual Studio 2015 you, you simply didn't have this template available yet. Um, so I started to figure out what do I have to do that I have the ASP.NET Core template available at this point. I downloaded some video and um, in that video they told me what do I need so I can start with ASP.NET Core in Visual Studio 2000, 2015. The first step was that they said I need update 3 for Visual Studio 2015 and I just had a plain installation of Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise without any updates. So my first task was uh, I went, I googled for update 3 and uh, let me show what I came up with or what I found. came to this web page. Here. Visual Studio 2015 Update 3 and .NET Core 1.0 available now. Today we are sharing the final release. I clicked here, Visual Studio 2015 Update 3 and I downloaded this executable, Visual Studio 2015.3 executable, which is only 973 kilobytes. It means it's a web installer, it downloads the stuff from the web and then installs it. So I run this executable here, it's this one, and it took like 1.5 hours to finish the installation. Um, after the installation I started Visual Studio again and checked if I have an update now available. Well, if it, the update is displayed in uh, Visual Studio. So, after I installed this and had a look on help about Visual Studio, I saw at this point here only update 1, not update 3 as we can see it right now. I will explain it uh, why I have update 3 now, but at first it was only update 1. And I was surprised, why do I see update 1, but I just installed the update 3. And um, then I thought maybe this file is installing first update 1 and then you have to run it again so it installs update 3. So I run this file again and the second time I, I run it, I made a screenshot what I saw then, I just saw this here and uh, it was just telling me the update 1 is installed but I had no possibility to choose if I want to ups, uh, install update 3 at this point. So obviously um, this file was not the right one. Then I continued to search for update 3 and I found another page which was this one here. I made a PDF file from it. That's how the page was looking like. Download Visual Studio 2015 update 3 and what I downloaded from this page was here, Visual Studio 2015 Update 3, this ISO file. 
and what they also write is don't forget to install the Visual Studio 2015 update 3 patch after you install the update. So both files I downloaded. Um, that's the Visual Studio 2015 update 3 ISO file, 6.2 gigs, and the patch was just 2.5 2.5 max. <coughs> so I mounted this ISO. I installed it. I had to wait again 1.5 hours uh, to install it. And uh, after I installed it, now finally I can see here that I have update 3 available. So that seems great. First step done. Good. And I also installed this update 3 patch afterwards over it, which took like 15 minutes. So this is in place now in my Visual Studio. Now if we go back to the video tutorial, what else do we need so we can start with ASP.NET Core in Visual Studio 2015? Um, getting your machine ready. In this video, this guy is using Visual Studio Community version, um, but he's also mentioning that, that it works also with Visual Studio Professional or Visual Studio Enterprise if you have it already. So I didn't download the Community version, I continued with my Enterprise uh, version. So I did not download this one, it was not necessary, but after this, what he is explaining is to go to Microsoft.com.net. Let's go on that page as well. And yes, this page looks today a little bit different. Uh, this video tutorial here is from 2017. So in 2017 this page was looking like this and now in 2018 this page looks a little bit different. So he goes, clicks on download here. Oh, that core. And if I click on download, the page now looks like this. Let's go back into video tutorial. Back then, the, the download page was looking different, and he had to go uh, on the link .NET Core, and from here he downloaded two things. Let me show you that. In the video tutorial, that's what he's showing what we need for Visual Studio 2015 uh, to work with ASP.NET Core. That's just very basics. On this page, he downloaded the .NET Core 101 SDK, the 64-bit version, and he also downloaded the Visual Studio 2015 Tools Preview 2, also the 64-bit uh, version. Well, I started downloading the SDK for that .NET Core. And today we only have the SDK 2.1 and right now I can't see here the version 101. And um, I thought, okay, what's the point to download an old SDK 101 if I have already 2.1? But I wasn't sure at this moment can I use the SDK 2.1 for Visual Studio 2015? Will that work or not? However, I just downloaded it and I installed it. Um, the file was... I put it here. That's this file, 134 max. It's an executable. You can just double click it everything is being installed automatically. I didn't make any screenshots. And so that means .NET SDK 2.1 is in place on my machine. Okay. And um, after just installing the SDK, if you go back to Visual Studio and you try to make a new project, web, 
you still don't have the ASP.NET Core template available here. All I have is ASP.NET Web Application, but no ASP.NET Core template. And in his case of this video here, he after this, after he installed the 101 SDK and I installed the version 2 SDK, he then downloaded this Visual Studio 2015 tools and installed this one as well. And after he did this too, well, after he installed update 3 for Visual Studio 2015, after he installed .NET Core 101, and after he installed this Visual Studio 2015 tools 64-bit version, he was then able to make a new project. Here we can see it. And in his, in his case, he then has on the Visual Studio web the ASP.NET Core web application template available. That's what I need. I'm still missing this. I don't have it. <coughs> so, so far I installed Visual Studio 2015 update 3. I installed uh, the SDK version 2. I still don't have the template in my Visual Studio, so what I'm still missing is... Now let's go back to here to show you the screenshot once again. What I need is this here. So first I didn't understand what, what is this? For what do I need this? And then later on I found out, aha, this is actually what puts the template into Visual Studio when it's missing. So the problem at the moment is if you go back to this web page, I can't download this anymore from here. This is not available anymore on this page. And um, I was a little bit confused at this moment, didn't know how to continue. So what I did next is, um, well, f first I didn't see that this is the reason or that I need this to get the template available. So I was thinking maybe I need .NET Core 101 and then I will have a template available. So next step I did was that I went on this page here on all downloads and then I saw here, okay, .NET Core SDK, SDK 101. And I downloaded for Windows the 64-bit binaries, which would be this 119 megabyte file. So I downloaded it. And that's, I put it here. It's this file, and when you unzip it, um, well, it's not an executable like the SDK for version 2 was. Version 2 it was an executable, I could just double click it, everything was installed automatically. In this case it's just a zip file, I, if you unzip it, you just get this structure. But uh, this here is not a setup. You can, when you just click this, nothing happens. It's not for installing. And also, you don't have here in the SDK uh, no setup or anything like that. So I, I'm not sure at the moment. Do I just put this? Do I just extract this into a folder and then how Visual Studio is going to use this? I don't know. So. I didn't do anything with it anymore at the moment. And um, then I googled a little bit around and I found this Stack Overflow page here. It's going to load. Yep. Where one guy's asking, I have Visual Studio 2015 update 3 and I don't see the ASP.NET Core web application template. That's exactly my problem. Uh, what am I missing? Yes, that's what I'm asking myself as well. And uh, one of the answers was, you should install .NET Core 101. 
yeah, I just had a look at it, but I don't know what to do with it. And also Visual Studio 2015 tooling preview, which we saw before it was not available anymore on that first page. So if we go here to download it, well, we are on this page. <laughs> install the .NET SDK. No, that's not what I need, uh, I guess. So, I don't see here the ASP.NET Core 101 SDK, and I also don't see on this page this Visual Studio 2015 tooling preview. I can't, I can't download this here. So, this doesn't help me. Um, another answer is I face the same problem. Solution that worked for me is uh, I went to tools, extensions, and updates. Updates. If the problem is an outdated extension, you will see it under updates. Else, you can search for it in the online tab, or you can use this link which worked for me. Uh, okay. Uh, from here, I can download the Visual Studio 2015 Tools Preview. I didn't see this the first time. Um, what I did first time is uh, I went on this page here, and yeah, that's the page where we have been before. And then I went on all downloads. Uh, .NET Core SDK 101 and I downloaded this 64-bit file which I just showed before I extracted it and then I don't know what to do with this page uh, with, with this SDK for Visual Studio and I continued reading and I saw that another guy was just telling here a solution that worked for me and that was also the solution that worked for Dan Dan is not the guy who asked the question, but never mind. Um, go to Visual Studio Tools, Extensions and Updates, Updates Visual Studio Gallery. So have a look if you do that. Updates and then Visual Studio Gallery. I have here visible Microsoft ASP.NET and Web Tools provides web tooling updates for ASP.NET. It also enables you to try .NET Core 101 in Visual Studio 2015. So if you click on update, you are redirected to this page and you see from, from here you, you, you get that executable. I downloaded this executable and I put it here, that's this file. So that's the same like when we click on this link is it the same file? .NET Core 101. Okay, here I even got the version 204 and this is version 203. Good. This is a little bit newer version. So that this way was even better uh, when we do it uh, over this. So I now tried to install um, this here so that I finally can find here my ASP.NET Core template, which is at the moment still missing. So let's close Visual Studio and let's try to install this. I agree and install. And now look what happens in my case. takes a moment until it initializes. It starts with the installation. And then after a short while the setup fails. We have a log file which doesn't help me too much. can send it to anybody, if anybody can tell me what this means or what I can do or what's the reason. 
maybe we have this error if I google it just quickly maybe we see something what it means it says your internet connection is missing or something like that bullshit um, well I will shall I look a little bit more here uh, mostly with this message no we have unspecified error maybe like this uh, no internet causes <laughs> this error well that's not the case we have internet here uh, I don't know I'm going to do a little bit more research on this but I don't know if it's going to help well what we have is just I have an error I can't install this Visual Studio 2015 tool in Preview 2 at the moment on my machine and I guess that's the reason why I don't have the ASP.NET Core template in my Visual Studio, in my Visual Studio 2015 available so um, it's a little bit frustrating at the moment I would just like to start with ASP.NET Core and uh, it makes quite some trouble with Visual 2015 and again I guess the reason is uh, when Visual Studio 2015 came out it was simply not ready out of the box yet for ASP.NET Core so you have to do these steps you have to install the update tree for Visual Studio you have to install the .NET Core SDK 101 manually and you have to install this um, what we just tried this tool for Visual Studio so you have the template available and then you can start with ASP.NET Core in Visual, in Visual Studio 2015 so I just wonder if I would get myself Visual Studio 2017 uh, I guess that one has ASP.NET Core template already out of the box available so I wouldn't have to do all this but I don't have Visual Studio does I don't have the 2017 version at the moment and uh, I don't want to install it not yet and yeah maybe somebody can help me out <laughs> what I'm doing wrong that I can't start with ASP.NET Core at the moment um, by looking at the tutorial in this video tutorial it's very easy what he's saying here or explaining how to start how to get the machine ready uh, but I can't as I just showed I, I can't make this work on my machine so I can't start with ASP.NET Core and maybe somebody can help me out what I'm doing wrong or uh, did you have the same experience was it also so difficult to start or uh, or should I just forget about all this and, and, and just get myself Visual Studio 2017 and everything will, be, will just go much more easy <laughs> without fiddling like now um, well some kind of uh, feedback uh, would be appreciated <laughs> or any help what do I have to do to get it work in Visual, Studi in Visual Studio 2015 okay thank you